your head hurts. Can you tell me your name? Sarah. Sarah what, sweetie? Sarah Baker. Sarah Baker. And do you know how you got here? No. I don't even know where I am. But you're at the hospital. Who are you? I'm your nurse for today. <sighs> do you I know how to go home? Okay, sweetie. The, the police have brought you in. You were passed out on your front lawn. Do you know why? No. Okay. I'm going to try to assess you real quick, okay? I need you to put down your legs and try to relax. I'm going to be checking your vitals, which are your blood pressure, your temperature. You look pretty sweaty, so I'm gonna see, I want to see what your temperature is at right now, okay? I'm sweating? That's kind of cold. I, let me assess your vitals, and then we'll go ahead and move further, okay, sweetheart? Ah, uh, fine. Okay. I want to check your blood pressure first. Whatever. I'm going to go home. I need you to put your legs down, sweetie, please, and then I need your arm, okay? Ugh. We'll finish this shortly, okay? Okay, so you need to have you lay down, okay? You have to lay back. It'll feel good. I know you don't feel good, but I have to assess you before we move forward with anything else, okay? I need you to try not to move, okay? Can you hurry up? Ow! It's gonna be a little tight. Ow! Today. It's okay. Here. I'm gonna put this little thing on your finger to check your O2, okay? Hold on, so you gotta let it down, okay? Can I have something for my headache? Yes, I'll give you something shorty. Really, I just really have to make sure hurts. your vitals are okay, okay? I'm gonna check your heart rate as well, okay? Fine. Just hurry up so I can go home. We just gotta see what's wrong with you so before we send you anywhere, okay? Her blood pressure is 152 over 88, temperature is 99.8, your O2 is at 98, okay? Your heart rate's a little elevated. I'm going to talk to the doctor right now and see if we can get you anything ordered, okay? I just have a few questions to ask you. Is that okay? I guess. I know you're a little bit agitated, but I have to ask these questions, okay? When you're talking to others, when you talk about how much you drink and telling them and all that, do you usually tell them the right estimate or you usually give them a false answer? Uh, I don't even drink. I stopped drinking like three months ago. Okay, and when you used to drink, did you eat something or did, would you skip a meal? Would you just drink? No, I like to eat. You like, like to eat? I like to eat a lot. Mm -hmm. Okay, do you have a drink that helps decrease your shakiness and tremors usually? Uh, I, oh my god, I love Grey Goose. Grey Goose. But that so. was like three months ago. Okay, that was three months ago. Okay. Mm -hmm. Does alcohol make it hard for you to remember parts of the day or night? Do you usually remember when you go out and have some drinks with some friends that you remember how it went? Oh, no, I don't remember anything. Okay. Mm -hmm. And when, when you do drink or when you used to drink a couple months ago, did it usually help you relax and calm your nerves? Yes. Oh. I feel really good. Okay, mm -hmm. and it helps you take your mind off mm -hmm. of things? But that was like three months ago. Okay, three months ago. Okay. Mm -hmm. Have or you? Four. Four months ago. Okay. Have you increased your drinking after an experience loss in your life, or did anything happen that you started drinking? Um. Well, my my cat died. Your cat died. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um. But I don't drink. I don't drink anymore. You don't drink anymore. Okay, that's perfectly fine. Has your doctor or your nurse have ever worried or concerned about your drinking when you've gone into like your follow ups or anything? No. 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 Okay. No. Have you, what What did you do to minimize your drinking? Because um, you did say your last drink was, what, three months ago? Like five. Five months ago now, okay. And what made you stop? Um, I just start, like, drinking, I start drinking, like, like iced teas, but they're not, like, Long Island anymore. They're not they're Long just, Island? They're just, like, regular iced teas. Okay. Um, I think, I think, like... I think like two months ago. Two months ago? Mm -hmm. Okay. And then you said you stopped drinking five months ago. Is that right? Maybe like six. I six think. months ago now. Okay. Do you have any, do you live with any family, friends? I have a sister. Uh, you have a yeah, sister? I don't know where she is. Do you know her number by any Maybe chance? She, I don't, why am I here? Do you, you're at the hospital, sweetie. They got, I'm telling you, you passed out on your lawn and they brought you in. Okay. I'm going to exit the room a bit. I'm going to go talk to the physician, see if we can order you anything for agitation, okay? 
Mm-hmm. And you're shaking it. Yeah, my head really hurts. Okay, so I'm going to go talk to the doctor and I'll be right back, okay? Hi, Dr. Rao. I'm calling. Um, you have a patient here and she has just come in from the ER. She was found on her lawn, passed out. The PD brought her in. She is experiencing tremors, sweating, shakiness. Her vital signs are 150 over 88. Her O2 is at 98%. Her heart rate's at 100. Temperature's at 99.8. Her respirations are at 20. Um, I have asked her about alcohol um, withdrawal or when's the last time that she had a drink. She was very inconsistent from going from two months to three to four to six. Um, she is experiencing signs of alcohol withdrawal. I was wondering any recommendations that you had. Hi, Miss Baker. Can I go home now? No, you can't go home yet, but I did call Dr. Rao. He is a physician here, and he did say to go ahead, and we're going to give you some IV fluids to hydrate you again because you're probably going to keep getting more dehydrated, and then we ordered some lorazepam for your anxiety, okay, and see if it helps calm you down a bit, okay? We also called your sister, and she should be here shortly, okay? Okay, but don't you guys have, like, a friggin' air conditioner? So, yes, I'll turn it on shortly, okay? Okay, I need you to lie down. That way we can... Do you want... Okay. Okay, so I'm going to give you the lorazepam first, okay? What is that? And so help with your anxiety. Does it help Gregus? Yes. Okay, thanks. Okay. Ow, my head. And then now I'm going to hang your fluids, Okay. What, what fluids? That's just some water to help hydrate you, okay? Okay. Okay, everything. Hi, Miss Baker, how are you feeling? A little better. I'm just really, really cold. Your sister's here. Is it okay if she comes in? Yeah, whatever. Okay, she said you can come in. I can't believe I'm here again because mm -hmm. of you. What are you talking about? Well, this is not the first time that this happens. Do you know what happened? Is it okay if I tell her what happened, Miss Baker? What? Or do you recall what happened? Well, I don't know how I got here. Is it okay if I tell her? And not if you're letting me lie, too. I won't lie. So how did I get here, then? So you were passed out on your front lawn. Your neighbors called the police department and they the police went by and picked you up and they brought you here. What? Has this happened before? Yeah, it has happened before. This is not the first time that this happened. So it's not the first time that they find her passed out. Okay. It's because they get really tired. You get really, really tired. tired and then sometimes I pass out. Okay, so it's easier to sleep mm -hmm. on your lawn. Is that okay? okay. Uh, do you need anything else? While we leave? No, can you just bring me some blankets because I'm really cold. I don't know, I'm so sweaty. Okay, I'll bring you some blankets on my way back in, okay? Okay. Okay. Okay, so your sister had come in. She was passed out on the lawn, like I had said earlier in there. Um, but when I was asking her history as far as her drinking, she said the last time that she had a drink was she went from two months to three months to four months to five to six. And she said that all this had happened because she's, her cat died. So I don't know what's the whole truth of it. And when I asked her when her cat died, she said about two months ago. So it the the timeline didn't add up. So I just wanted more information from you about her. Yeah, well she she's she's been drinking. She drinks all the time. Okay, and so, how much does she drink usually? Um, a lot. Maybe like she'll go through maybe like three twelve packs. Uh, I think. Okay, and does she drink like hard liquor as well or just yeah, beer? hard liquor? Great goose. Great. She loves great goose. Yeah, she can mention it in there. Yeah, there. She, um, but she I, she has stopped trying to drink before, but she always goes back. Okay. Mm -hmm. And when's the last time that you think she had a drink? Uh, well, by the looks of it, it looks like she probably had some drinks yesterday. Okay. Mm -hmm. And before that, you say that she just continuously drinks every day, about mm -hmm. three 12 packs, and then as well as Grey Goose. Mm -hmm. um, about how much of the Grey Goose does she drink? Uh, like a bottle a day. A bottle a day? Okay. Yeah, she drinks a lot. Okay. Mm -hmm. And do you have any concerns or anything that you should let us know about? Um, that way we can facilitate it back to the doctors. I'm just concerned 
Um, for safety, I, I wish we could get her some help. Hi, Monica. How do you go? Oh, how are you doing? Doing good. How's it going? Good, good. So you have patient in 201. Her name is Sarah Baker. Mm -hmm. She is a 25-year-old. The patient is still She's unaware of how she ended up here. She is um, not coherent enough yet. Um, she knows her name and stuff, but she doesn't know where she is or how she got here or anything like that. Um, her labs are waiting. They just uh, drew labs, so we are waiting for the results on them. The, the sister did want to go ahead and contact maybe a rehab or um, some kind of counseling for her to help with the alcohol. Hi, Miss Baker. How are you doing? Hi, I'm okay. You doing okay? Are you feeling yeah. any better without the rest of him? Yeah, a little bit. A little bit. All right. Mm -hmm. I see you're sweating a lot. We have you on some IV fluid, so hopefully you'll start feeling a lot better soon. What? Hi, my name is Monica and I'm a nurse at this hospital. Um, so when you have a patient that comes in with symptoms that seem like they ha are going through alcohol withdrawal, you're going to want to use a scale to assess how severe are their symptoms. So you want to ask them if they have any nausea, vomiting. Um, you can see if they have a tremor, ask them to put their arms out. Um, sometimes patients will be shaking a lot and sometimes you'll have to feel their hand to see if they have a tremor. Um, if they are sweating a lot, you want to feel the back of their neck, the side, the forehead. Um, some patients you can't see it as well. Um, some patients you can, so if you can see they're profusely sweating, you don't necessarily have to feel all of their body. Um, patients will come in, they'll be very anxious, they'll be agitated, they want to leave the hospital, and you have to try to talk them down and just let them know you're going to help them through the anxiety and you're here to um, help them through this. They might be having some hallucinations if their symptoms are very severe. Um, they could have auditory, tactile um, disturbances, and they may have a headache, they may be disoriented. Um, so you really want to do a full assessment of all of the symptoms and then see out of the score how high they are. So that way you can address everything. Hi. Hi. I'm a social worker at this hospital. And my name is Hannah. Okay. Yeah, can you say your name? My name is Sarah Baker. Yes. Yeah, I heard that uh, you had a tough time today. I did. Yes. You want to talk mm -hmm. about it? Well, I don't remember anything, but they mm -hmm. said that the ambulance brought me last night because I was passed out on my lawn. Mm -hmm. and I don't know how I passed out, but mm -hmm. my sister said that I was drinking. Yes. Mm -hmm. And you've been drinking a lot, that's what I heard, right? Yeah. You have a history of mm -hmm. alcohol, right? Mm -hmm. I do. Is there any problem you're dealing with in your no. I don't, I've had so many problems. Mm -hmm. I got divorced, my cat died, I got fired from my job. Mm -hmm. Like nothing is going right. Mm -hmm. What about family? Do you have a kid? You know what? Oh. There are a lot of help and talking for you. Mm -hmm. I know you're not ready right now, but whenever you're ready, you know, there's a number, you know, you can always call and I'll be always there. You're not alone, Sarah. <laughs> <laughs> Sarah, you're not alone.